back to my channel. It is currently Friday, May 19th, the day before my last competition of the season. <laughs> it's really sad, but I'm also really excited because it's gonna be a really great weekend. I can feel it. And I wanted for this video to do like a day before vlog heading up to the competition. So like packing my dance bag, you know, some self-care, even though it's Friday, so I have school. Unfortunately, <laughs> and also we have to straighten my hair. We're rushing up to Long Island to do a glamour costume shoot Which I'm super excited about because I did it last year and I had so much fun It's hard for them to manage my hair when it's curly, so I'm just gonna straighten it so it's super easy for them We have very little time. And we have to get ready for the competition. So <sighs> But I still love her so it's okay, I guess What are you doing? I'm sorry <laughs> She's hungry, guys. So it's kind of like my last week of school. I finished like my Friday work on Wednesday, so I don't really have anything to do today. And then I would move on to next week's work because next week is my last week of school, but I worked ahead. So now I have only one lesson that week, and that's a test, and it's for the hardest subject I probably ever have taken. It's social studies, guys. I don't like social studies. But I still need to study for that today. I don't wanna fail. So that's a bit scary, and I need to work on my science project that is like three weeks overdue. Okay, so I typed it all out. If I don't get it done by May 26th, which is the last day of my school, I will get a zero. Last semester, I finished the semester with straight A's. This semester, I have all high A's, except for my science grade. How the physical education, uh, 95. She's making a smoothie over there and just interrupted me. Just give me a second. This family is a mess. That was odd timing, but okay. I have 86 in science, which I'm not proud of. So that's why I'm so nervous about my social studies test, because I feel like if I don't do well on it, which I will, because I'm determined. <laughs> if I like didn't do well, then I'd end up finishing the semester with a lower grade than I wanted. So now all I have to do is study for my history test and work on that science project. I might read a little bit because there's a book that I'm loving right now, I'm living for it. <laughs> it's called Girl Stuff. It's like a whole series, it's by Lissy Harrison. You should definitely read this book, especially if you're like a tween and you like reading kind of like drama-ish, romance, middle school drama kind of book. And then we'll figure out what's coming next, maybe straightening the hair, maybe doing something else. I have not planned out the order of my day, but I know what I want to do in my day, so I guess that's all that matters. my science project that I uploaded it, which I'm really excited about. So then I have to study for the test that's after that, so that's a bummer for me, but. So, here is my science project. So I have all my typing and my writing, and then I have a glass of water, and I make captions for all of them. Then I have a little boy wasting water, because like the shower is like full, and like the sink is full. That's me every day in my life. <laughs> and then I have this wonderful, just gorgeous piece of art that I created. I'm the new Picasso, guys. <laughs> so that's pretty much my whole project so i took a picture of it and submitted it mom's watching nicole leno we love you so much please notice me now i'm gonna go get changed and i'm gonna go get into some practice clothes then we'll figure out where we're going from then I'm going to practice my dances because I have to perform them tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. But first, I wanted to give y'all a little dance room tour. So yeah, also I'm like glistening. Like I'm using a new skincare routine and it's made my skin look a lot better, but I am like glistening. Like I'm a glazed donut. So you walk in, there's a door. It's like a little sliding barn door. I got this room built for me a few years ago. It was a birthday gift when I was like seven. So here I have shelves where I put all my tiaras from winning title and then all my pins and trophies and banners and all that stuff that you get from competitions. I have mirrors all throughout over there. And there's me. Hey guys. And 
then I have this little seating area with a clock overhead. And basically it's a little bench where you can sit there and you can put your dance shoes on, which is actually really convenient. These are called stall bars, by the way. You can do like over splits on them. And then up there is a large bar where you can do like pull-ups. And then we have our little studio case side. It actually lights up, but I can't find the remote right now, so I'm not gonna light it up. And then these lights up here, they actually change color because they're like smart lights. So they change color to like purple and blue and like any color you want. And then I have this like really visually appealing like backdrop wallpaper. Guys, we're heading out to the grocery store. Ow! I just got a cramp in my leg. Like the other day, I got a random cramp in my bag. My, not my back. My, <laughs> my back carrying a five pound potted plant. We have a little checklist. Um, under, I underlined the Publix cake and I made an arrow to the bottom and it says, that's a priority. Guys, you don't have Italian pinwheels. Disappointing. This is really disappointing. It says 524, but it looks more ripe than those, which say 522. It's just kind of weird. Hmm. All right, so the next thing on the list is grapes, apples, and pineapples. So we got pineapple so far. They didn't have Italian pinwheels. Apples, apples, apples. Hey, Mom, I like envy apples, by the way. I don't like just yeah. Fuji, I like envy apples. Okay. <laughs> Stop. My mom is driving me crazy. Kennedy <laughs> is difficult. <laughs> driving me crazier. Driving me crazy today. I don't know how we're gonna survive this long weekend, guys. I She's gonna be know. really happy when I go away for five yeah, weeks. Yeah, I, well, <laughs> if she went away for five minutes, it'll be all right. Envy apples. They look like oh. peas. Like they big, look peas. Those massive peas. Big peas. <laughs> so apples, where would we be closest to? Cheese and like turkey? Yeah, right. probably. Oh, Lunchables. Ah, I just got closed in the fridge door. Mama's being difficult. I never have to, I have to say everything. I, I have bad ears. It's lighting, is this fridge lighting good? I'm in a fridge, okay. Oh man, we went by the pepperoni. Tortillas. Yes. We're going back to get the pepperoni because we passed it. I look bald again. My forehead is just built like a bald person's head. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, if I angle the camera down like this, look at this. <laughs> okay, I have like sideburns. Oreos. Should I like dance through the aisles? <laughs> birthday cake kind with that weird like super fatty I mean it doesn't taste like anything so it's kind of basically vanilla so we figured out what we're gonna eat all right ready mom one two three chicken, chicken quesadillas. quesadillas mom just crashed into like a, one of these like aisle things she almost crashed into one she was like <laughs> we ain't getting salmonella today so mom's gonna get it all right we're checking out guys Get all this beautiful stuff and we're out. All right, we're home and we got all the groceries, but I need to get busy. I'm rushing upstairs. I need to take off my nail polish, shower and wash my hair. Ow, my leg hurts. See, I just have cramps everywhere. Exfoliate, shave. <laughs> I have 
this bluish green nail polish on and for competition I actually have to have clear nails so they look like everybody else's luckily it's this normal nail polish so I can get it off with this nail polish remover so I'm gonna go grab that right now okay so I got my nail polish remover I got my little cotton rounds all right y'all the nails are gone so now I'm gonna go take a shower but first I want to show you the shower products that I use. Okay, so for my hair routine, I have my keratin smoothing oil conditioner, and then I have like a clarifying shampoo that's downstairs, but I haven't opened it quite yet. Then I use two body washes, one from Sol de Janeiro, and it's the Brazilian Four Flames Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It works so well, and it smells so good. And then I have a Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel Christmas Scent. It just smells so good. Okay, then I use this KP, which stands for Keratosis Polaris, because I have Keratosis Polaris. I have like little red, yeah, it's a skin condition. It's a bump eraser, so I use it on the top of my arms, which I also have that. And then I have a proactive skincare body bump eraser soap. So that's basically my shower routine. Okay, so I have all my perfumes. So I have my Aeropostale Golden Hour, my Butterfly by Bath and Body Works, Brazilian Crush, it's number, it's like number 71. And then I have 62, it smells, it smells very tropical. Oh, here's my Vanilla Bean Noel. It's right here. So I have like so many like body sprays and I plan to get more, so. Then here guys, I'm gonna go take a shower and then I will see you after for the hair straightening process. Y'all, I just got out of the shower and my hair and my body is so soft. My hair feels fluffy. So now it's time to get to the straightening, but also my mom made chicken quesadillas. So I'm gonna go eat that too. And now guys, it's time to start with the straightening. Mom, I can see your elbow. Mom's hiding guys, she's hiding from the camera. All right, so it's already detangled, right? And it's partly dry too, which is good. So we're just gonna start by blow drying. So we um, will- Why is my part on that side? Just, just work with me here. So we're just gonna blow dry it and then we'll check back in after it's blow dried because our hands are gonna be a little full for the next few minutes. Next hour, guys. I don't, I don't, my hair instantly got poopy. <laughs> I said that I look like Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. We're very poofy right now. So uh, now we have to flat iron because I look like a lion's mane right now. My forehead is out. <laughs> It's parted in the middle and it's straight. It looks very, it's a forehead show. But anywho, my hair is all straight now. It's all flat ironed and it's not gonna be styled like this. Yes, cause I'm aware my curtain bangs are very uh, going the wrong way. They're kind of like going like this instead of like this, how I want them. But they're not gonna be styled like this cause we're gonna wrap it. Then we're gonna wake up and put it in a beautiful bun. And then we're gonna take it out because I am not letting all that gel and stuff crumple up my hair. Not today, not tomorrow, not the day after that because I'm maintaining this beautiful sleek hair for the next week, hopefully. Um, I'm tired. So, <laughs> the last step of my little day before competition routine is skincare. Now you already- Oh, and waxing. Oh, no, I hope, I thought you forgot. Yeah, we have to wax and I hate waxing. But mom, like there's no hair there. So the last step is skincare. I'm gonna show you like my full routine, like the products I use and stuff. So let me try to set the camera, we can see me a little bit better. Okay, also pay no attention to my wacky hair style thingy. First step is cleanser. So I'm using my Glytone, Glytone, Glytone Mild Gel Cleanser. It's supposed to help with my keratosis polaris and my acne problems. It's really gentle and it doesn't make anything burn. It feels really nice. Okay, I need to pat my face. So now it's time to put toner on. So my toner is from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. I'm being very gentle around my hairline so I don't get anything on my hair. Oh yes, the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Two squirts in my hand. Guys, I'm telling you, this skincare routine works so well, especially for people that have dry, acne-prone skin like me. It helps with keratosis pylorus because it's pretty common, especially in like kids. This is an exfoliating serum. It has lactic acid in it. This is the Divulge Beauty one, and it's supposed to also help with acne and keratosis pylorus. I think I have to use the new Glow Recipe Dew Drops, which is next because we ran out and then the small one. Yay. Okay, so now I'm done with my Dew Drops. I'm gonna use this 
what is it called? The Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I usually only put this in like my problem spots, which is like my dry spots, so around my nose. On my eyelids get really dry. I think I have eczema on my eyelids, actually. I don't know why I don't have it on the rest of my body, but. And then I just use my finger and smooth it out. I usually have my fan in here, like a fan, and then I like do it like, and then I'm like, and I fan it out, but I don't have it today because it's in my room. Face is looking like a glazed donut. And that is the end of my skincare routine. And we're gonna put some aqua four on my lips because you know, you, you wanna have soft lips because why not? But yeah, that is my skincare routine. So now I'm gonna go eat cake, brush my teeth, and then go to bed. Okay, so I'm in my mama's bed because me and my mom are gonna be snuggling because my dad is out of town. So. It's just us girlies. So we're gonna be snuggling, we're having a little slumber party, and I am eating my cake currently. But we forgot to get milk while we were at the grocery store, so I can't have a glass of milk with it. Story time, I used to eat cereal and milk separated. That's a little weird. <laughs> but for this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. New videos coming out every single week. And I will see you guys next week. Bye bye Mwah.